Hi everyone, my name is Kinga and I work for CadVenture, Salibri's UK partner. I'm a business development executive and I specialise in Salibri, so today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about model checking. Just before we begin, I'd like to mention that I have already configured my rule sets to be where I need them to be, but I'll come back to that in just a second. So when we open up Salibri Office, this is what we see, this is the domain interface. Today I will be working on the Salibri building IFC file that you can see right at the top of the list. I've recently been working quite a lot on it, which is why I have pinned it to my recent models list. What that means is that you can find your files much quicker and I appreciate I haven't got a whole lot of files in there, but most of you have loads more, so that will just let you save some time in having to allocate your file that you're working on. Opening up an IFC file and the time it takes just purely depends on the amount of data and detail you have. So the more data and the more detail, the longer it might take. It's quite a simple and a small model, so it shouldn't be any longer. So here we've got the Ensure Model Disciplines and Categories window popping up. As you can see, Salibri has already identified that a discipline of today's model will be an architectural model. Salibri knows it's an architectural file as it can identify it by looking at the authoring tool. Now I will just add a very short prefix, ARC, to stand for architectural. So the first thing that we need to do is go into our checking layout right at the top. You can see we have a to-do window that's just popped out. It's a list that tells you things you should do in order to complete your model checking properly. You can close it by pressing X, and if you do that, you can always come back to it by going back to the top right-hand corner and pressing on the to-do list there. So let me show you an example. Today we'll work on the classifications task. Essentially, what that's asking you to do is to check that every object within the model has been classified. This is a list of objects that have been classified, but if we go into the unclassified components in the top bar, you can see that the list is empty. This is exactly what we would like to see. That means that in our model there are no unclassified objects. This is great news because any unclassified objects will not be included in any information takeoffs that you would do at the end. And now let's press OK. There's only three rule set tasks left to do, but we won't have the time to do them today. So I'll just click that off for now. The first thing that we need to do in order to begin our model checking is to press check model. The larger the model, the more checks need to be done, which can of course mean that it might take longer. However, the great thing with Salibri offices is that as soon as a single first clash or error is identified, you can begin going by your errors one by one. You don't have to wait for the whole of your model checking to be finished. You can start from the get-go. That just lets you be a lot more efficient and saves loads more time. So now that's all done, and let me just go through a couple of them to show you what that looks like. So the first one I'd like to talk you through is the clearance, clearance in front of windows. As you can see, you've got a mixture of red, orange, and yellow triangles. Those stand for severity of the issues that have been identified yellow being the least severe ones and red ones being the most severe ones. You can also see a couple of green OKs. What that means is that the model has passed requirements of a certain rule. It is, however, absolutely crucial that we do go through all of them one by one. So now, if we open up the clearance rule, you can see in the results summary view how many high severity and how many medium severity and how many low severity issues we've got. In this case, We've got 36 high severity clashes, so let me walk you through some of them. For now, I'd like to focus on the results view. As you can see, the first one is that columns are too close to the window. So now, if we double click, you can see that a model will open up, but it will only open up the areas that are affected by the issue identified. In this instance, we've got 29 areas that have been highlighted in the model. If you zoom in really, really close, you can see the purple area is the area that the rule outlines as meant to be clear. As you can see also, the column is slightly in the purple area, meaning the clearance hasn't been met and there isn't enough space on both either sides of the window to satisfy the rule. The column is in the area that's meant to be completely clear of any objects, so Salibri has identified it as an issue. I'll show you a different example of an issue that Salibri has identified for us. So let's have a look at deficiency detection. Under components below and above, you can see that there are several moderate severity issues that have been identified and the a subrule of components above column. If we double click and expand the issue, you can see in the results summary view that the column components do not touch above. You see on the model, there's nine columns that are not touching the ceiling above them. 
If you expand the issue in the results view all the way to the end, and you can now see um, the orange triangle, and if you click on it, you can see loads of information about, about the issue appears in your info view. If you wish to make any comments directly on the model and the issue identified, you can always open up the toolbar and the markup tool, as like I've shown in my previous videos. So you can add a comment anywhere you like on the model. You can make it as small or as big as you want. So add arrows, shapes, or any pictures that you like. Any markups in Celebri, as soon as you move the model, spin around or twist it, it doesn't really matter because your markups will stay stuck. So exactly where you've put them initially, they will not move. So those were just a couple of examples of what issues Celebri has identified. What your task would be right now is to go through all of those issues one by one and either accept them or reject them. In the next couple of weeks, I will produce a video on how to communicate those issues, how to create reports, presentations, so stay tuned for that. I've got loads more content coming up. I will go into more detail about specific rules. I'll explain how to communicate issues by creating reports and presentations and use the BCF file format export, as well as how to revise model and do your take-ups right at the end any comments questions or suggestions please do leave them down below or feel free to drop us an email or a phone call on the number you can see on your screen right now and i'll speak to you very soon bye